How did the movie world treat great works of literature? Find out with That's Hollywood and those cameras start rolling in a moment. Entertainment for Thursday night on Thames at 7.30, duty free, dressing up for the part. Of course I could say. David, you couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. At 8.30, never the twain. An old love revived. I'm not good looking. Yes, I know. <laughs> but you're beautiful inside. No consolation to know you've been born inside out. At 9, L.A. Law. Markovitz is helplessly in love. I don't remember anything that happened after we left Leland's party. It was the sexiest night of my life. At 10.30, Christopher Plummer stars in Triple Cross. Do you think they can be interested in a message from a thief like you? They will be when they find out it's an Englishman who wants to help them, and what's more, who can. And with Emmerdale Farm at 7 and This Week at 8, these are Thursday night's programs on 10. Isn't it about time London had a new newspaper that gave you classified advertising from first thing in the morning to last thing at night? Well, from February the 24th, it has. The London Daily News Classified, first edition on the street, 6 a.m. Phone 583-4000 and you can advertise jobs, flats and houses, cars and holidays. Right through the day, the London Daily News Classified, first edition on the street, 6 a.m. Phone 583-4000. Tigger and I are very good friends. What I get from Tigger is getting to relax. He, if you've had a hectic day, sit back, cat on your knee, and you relax. As for Tigger, he gets food first. <laughs> he gets warmth, he gets affection. It's a two-way thing. Tigger eats whiskers. Tigger only eats whiskers. <laughs> it's good food for cats. I think it has to be made with better ingredients because he enjoys it so much. I know that he prefers whiskers. I feel very confident feeding Tigger whiskers. I've done it for nine years. If Tigger could talk, he'd just say, give me my whiskers. Now. <laughs> Best ever whiskers. In tests, eight out of ten owners who expressed a preference said their cats preferred it. In the last six years, 72 new hospitals have been built in Britain. Modern private hospitals where doctors, nurses and technicians can perform to the very best of their ability. Hospitals that meet the considerable demands of modern medicine. Hospitals where patients have the best environment to recover. 72 such hospitals in six years. That's one a month. And no one has built more of these than Pooper. And we have plans for more. Most people obtain their private medical care through Pooper. Hooper. Britain feels better for it. The Amstrad PC1512 can help any small business grow bigger. It's compatible with you-know-who, priced as only we know how. Today, when they invited me along to this private viewing, I thought I'd bring along my own supply of colonial culture. Now that's what I call a masterpiece. Who did this one, mate? That's, uh, Dunstall. Reckon he must have been handcuffed when he painted it. Cripes. This one's not much better. Actually, they're Jackson Pollocks. Yeah, <laughs> I'd agree with you there, sport. Fasters, the amber nectar. Have you seen any of those new Montegos, eh? Very smart, I hear. Very pricey, more like. That's a new 1.6L, same price. Call the other one. And it's got a sunroof, apparently. Slide and tilt. Yeah, 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 of course it has. Electronic stereo radio cassette, four speakers. Oh, yeah. And at no extra cost. They never do that. Standard five-speed box, two-tone bodywork. And word has it, it really moves. I'll tell you what, I believe it when I see it. The new Montego 1.6L. Watch out for it. Smith's Square Crisps, more of a crunch. <laughs> Villa Crisp. Free with Woman's Weekly, this cook's measuring spoon. You'll get exact recipe amounts for perfect consistencies and great tastes. Free with Woman's Weekly. We're looking ahead now to tomorrow evening, and at 7.30, of course, we take off to sunny Spain. For more comedy, that's in Duty Free. And at 8.30, well, the comedy continues with Never the Twain. Now to Tinseltown for That's Hollywood. Ever since those...